What's up City Skylines fans, I'm Soxway Up, and today we're going to review what I consider the essential mods for modded City Skylines. You could probably replace the word essential with bare minimum. We're currently making a mini series of, on selecting the correct mods for City Skylines. Today's topic is essentials. If you're new to City Skylines or just have a PC that can't handle many mods, this video is for you. If you're a crazy detailer with a pimped out PC, then this will be the first of many videos walking you through getting City Skylines to run smoothly while heavily modded simply by selecting the correct compatible mods. We're going to start the video off with some informational mods. These ones are compatibility mod, loading screen mod, and load order mod. Let's start first with load order mod. This is one of my favorite mods. You run City Skylines through load order mod instead of Steam. It's kind of a nice way to start it up. It reorders the order that the game loads mods to speed up startup time. It also has some cool features that I go over in this video in the corner here of the screen if you want some more information about this mod specifically. The compatibility report mod is something I think you should take into account when you start installing mods to City Skylines and constantly look at the report that it generates for you to make sure you're not using mods that are incompatible with each other. That tends to be when you start seeing errors or you start seeing the game slow down. You have mods that are competing for the same class loaders and, and a lot duplicate functionality. And this report will tell you about that so you can limit the ones that you have installed. The last one's loading screen mod. I have another video for you in the corner here that I've gone over this mod a while back. You can see the logo might be a little different than what you're used to for this mod. There is a temporary fix that I personally think is going to be the long term fix that's out there for us to use while we wait for the original one to get updated. In the short version, this mod gives you some statistics of your game as it's starting up, as well as showing you some assets or mods that will fail to load at startup. Next are a few mods that I deem vanilla worthy. They should be part of Vanilla City Skylines and they just aren't. First off is Harmony Mod Dependency. It is what it sounds like. It's dependency for mods that you are going to install later on. For example, Traffic Manager President's Edition. This is an amazing mod. It lets you dictate which lanes people can drive in and which ones they can turn in and many, many more. Check out some tutorials online for that, but it's a must needed mod in City Skylines in my opinion. Next, we jump over to move it. It does what it sounds like. It allows you to move things around. As you can see here, we are adjusting a road exactly how we want it. We can do some fine details. We can move buildings around. We can move trees around. All kinds of things with move it. Check out some tutorials on that online as well. Again, this is a much needed mod that should be part of Vanilla City Skylines. The unified UI will show in the next few clips, but it is a button that combines a few other mods like Bob. Bob's another awesome mod. It allows you to grab an existing building and pick out some of the trees and fences and decorations and change them to different assets and customize each building to your own need in your city. Very, very cool feature. Very, very cool mod in City Skylines. Now, Network Multi-Tool takes some of the features of Move It specifically around roads and networks and makes them amazing in this game. We showed a little clip here of some of the things you could do by making a perfectly curved road connecting two different roads together just with a couple clicks. Check out some of the tutorials online for this mod as well. Again, would be really nice if it was part of Vanilla City Skylines, but it's definitely an essential mod when it comes to me and the way I play City Skylines. The last one we're gonna to touch on in this video is Instant Return to Desktop. It does exactly what it sounds like. You click, go to desktop, and it instantly shuts down the game. Just patch it, just patch it. That's gonna do it for this episode. There's a few more of these I'm working on that I wanna get out there. They are different tiers of what your computer can handle or the type of player you are with City Skylines. In the description, there'll be a link to this collection on Steam. I'll be keeping these updated as I go and maybe adding specific ones to specific episodes of Cities as I'm building them on City Skylines. Right now we're playing a primarily a vanilla series, so we're going to be a little slow getting this out as we prep for our new series coming up in the next few weeks.